What if I told you that you can create your very own ebook and list it on your online store all in just one day? Would you believe me? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you exactly how. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Tisha and I teach you how to create and sell digital products using online tools, helping you turn your digital product ideas into income. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create your very own ebook and list it in your online store in just one day. And the best part, you can do this without spending any of your coins. I'm gonna share with you three free tools that you can use to create design and sell your ebook so let's get into it so the first step is to brainstorm some ebook ideas and you want your ebook to be based on your own personal experience so think about some hobbies or something that you're passionate about that you want to share with other people do you have a skill set that you can teach other people and they want to learn about is there a life experience that you want to share that others may want to learn how you went through that experience you can put this in your ebook my very first ebook was a thanksgiving cookbook and this was based on my own experience of loving to cook so once we have our ebook ideas or topic ideas and we have narrowed down what we want to create the next step is to write our ebook so let's head over to our computer screen and we're going to jump into our first tool which is chat gpt so after you have brainstormed the ebook topic ideas you want to head over to chat gpt to help you create the content for your ebook so let's go ahead and enter our first prompt I will leave all the prompts down below in the description box. So basically you just want to tell ChatGPT your ebook title and who your ebook is for. And what it's going to do is going to basically give you an outline of your ebook. Next, we're going to expand on the different sections of the ebook and we're going to include the tone of voice. We're going to include, again, the target audience and we're also going to include any lingo that is particular to the niche or topic that we're talking about. Also, if there's any lingo that you like to use all the time, include that in your prompt so ChatGPT knows to include that in your ebook. So ChatGPT is going to start writing out the content for the introduction. Okay, so it says, hey there, future boss. So you got big dreams, huh? Maybe you want to make extra cash to save up for that new phone, help out with family expenses, or just start something on your own because let's face it, being your own boss sounds pretty awesome, right? And if this is the tone that I want to keep, then we're going to keep it. If I want to change it up, then we can change it up. So now ChatGPT has given us our introduction. You can read through it. If it sounds like something that you want to keep, you can keep it or you can ask it to make changes. So now that we have our introduction, we would just repeat this process for each chapter of our ebook. Here's a bonus tip to ensure that your ebook is unique to you. If you have any tips or any experience that you want to share within your ebook, give that information to ChatGPT to make sure that it's incorporated into your ebook because now you're sharing from your personal experience. Once you have finished generating your content in ChatGPT, the next step is to design your ebook. So let's head over to Canva to design our ebook. From the Canva dashboard, you want to go to the top in the search bar and you want to type in ebook template and then you also want to click canva template so it's only showing you the canva templates and not any of the content that you've already created and now it's going to show you a variety of templates that you can choose from there's so many different ones that you can choose if you are trying to make sure that you only use the free canva templates you want to avoid any of the ones that have the canva pro logo if you do want to use a template that has a canva pro logo you just need to have a canva pro account also as you are searching through the templates you want to choose one that has multiple pages um this is very helpful when you're trying to create the ebook um, some of these templates may only be an ebook cover. So you just want to just scroll through and find one that you like. 
Once you found an ebook that you want to use, you simply can click on it to preview all the pages. And then once you're ready to start editing the design, you click on customize this template and it's going to open up the Canva editor for you to start customizing the ebook. And now we can start adding our ebook content to our Canva design. And this is a question I get all the time. Like, how do I get the content from ChatGPT to Canva? And honestly, guys, you just simply are going to copy and paste the content from ChatGPT and then directly paste it into Canva. Now, I do recommend actually pasting it into a Google Doc or a Word Doc. That way, if you want to edit it a little bit, you can do that. And also, sometimes there may be a formatting issue copying and pasting directly from ChatGPT, but that's the main way that you're going to add the content. We're going to adjust our title. Our title is a bit long, but I like it, so we're going to keep it. And let's see, everything inside of the Canva template, you can edit. Uh, let's say for instance, if I wanna change the font, I would simply click on the font and then just scroll through and probably try to find a font that will best fit the design that I'm going for. I can also change the background color. Let's look for a nice green color. Okay, I like that green. Let's change the color of our font. Anything that you plan to edit in Canva, once you click on it, there will be a toolbar that will pop up at the top that will allow you to edit. So here's where I changed the font. I can change the font size. And now I wanna change the color. I can simply click on the color icon. For now, let's keep it white. And let's probably delete this. Change that to green. And I'm gonna add my name. Next, let's just add some images. We wanna go to the left and click on elements. You just wanna search for an image that's gonna be relatable to your audience and your ebook topic. So since we're talking about business and money, let's look for that type of image. Okay, you can scroll through the different stock photos that are available to you. And again, just remember, if you are using the Canva free account, you want to avoid any of the images that have the pro logo. If you only wanna search free images, you wanna to go to the top and click on your filter, scroll down and select free. And then you'll be able to see all of the free images related to the keywords that you searched, okay? Once you find an image that you want to use, you simply just drag and drop it into place. If you wanna make it bigger, you can simply just drag out the corners and make it bigger. Now let's move my circle. Now that we have our image, we can go to our next page. And you simply just repeat this process until you are done adding all of your content to your ebook. Now, once you've added all of your content and you have customized your ebook, the next step is to download your ebook. Before we download our ebook, you wanna go to the top and you actually want to rename your ebook to the title of your ebook. And then we wanna to go to the top right, click on share. You wanna click download and you wanna change the file type to PDF and then click download. And it's gonna download your ebook as a PDF. You also want to download your cover page as an image to use in the next step. So to do that, we wanna go back to the share, click download. We wanna keep the file type as PNG. You wanna to go to select pages and we wanna uncheck everything and then only check page one click done and click download. So the next step is to list our ebook on our digital product store. So let's head over to Pensite. So the platform that we're gonna to use to sell our ebook is Pensite. Pensite lets you easily create a digital product store to sell your digital products like ebooks. And the one thing I like about Pensite is that they are free free. They don't charge any monthly subscription fees or transaction fees. You can get started by using a valid email address. If you want a full tutorial on Pinsight, I will leave that link down below in the description box. So once you have logged into your Pinsight account, this is what you're going to see. To add a digital product, you want to go over to the left and click products, click new product at the top, and then you want to select digital product. You want to enter in the title of your ebook, 
um, the product type is ebook so we're just going to type in ebook you can add a thumbnail the thumbnail is basically an image of your ebook you want to click upload you want to grab the image that you download from canva and then you can simply crop it out to make sure that it fits the size that is needed for pen site once you crop it you want to hit confirm okay and that's easily going to create a thumbnail now guys you want to make sure that you are subscribed and you have your notifications on because i am going to create a tutorial to show you guys how to create mock-up images for your ebook the next step of the process is your pricing you want to if you want to give this away for free you can select that option if you want to add a payment you want to make sure that's selected and you want to add your price you want to make sure that your price is reasonable if you are in a different country, you can select your country's currency. Once you're done, you want to scroll down to the bottom. The next step is to actually upload our PDF that we downloaded from Canva. So we want to click upload and we're going to grab our PDF. Okay. The next step is to add a little thank you message to your customers. So once they make a purchase, this is the message that they will see. You can keep it simple by saying thank you for your purchase. If you want to add additional content here, you can do that. And once you're done, you want to hit continue. Pinsight does have the option for you to create a landing page, but that is not necessary. So you can hit skip landing page. Next is going to ask you how you want to publish your digital product. You want to make sure that it's on public so it's visible to everyone who visits your Pinsight website or link in bio. Next is to create a call to action button. You can leave it as is where it says get now, or you can change it to something else. And the last section is to create your product link it is going to create the link based on your title if your title is very long you want to edit this into something that's very simple for this tutorial I'm just going to type ebook and then once you are ready everything is ready you want to go to the top and you want to click on publish it's going to give you a little congratulations that your digital product or your ebook is now published and it's public for people to view and so this is what your ebook looks like on your pen site link in bio digital store this they see the thumbnail they see the title they know it's the ebook they can click on the call to action button and it's going to take them to the option to purchase the ebook okay friends so i just gave you the blueprint on how you can create your very own ebook it was super easy it was free and you can do it in just one day eliminating any excuses that you may have about creating your ebook so I want you to commit to a day of when you are going to create your ebook. Leave your ebook topic down in the comments and share it with us. If you have any questions, you can leave those out in the comments as well. And to learn more about Pinsight, make sure that you check out the video that is on your screen. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.